Wait a minute. We've got the upper. What are you doing? Are you stuck? A fortress on a hill. Now, the thing about hills is they're good to defend it. And the thing about fortresses is they're good to defend it. So if you have a fortress on a hill, by goodness, then you should be able to defend that very well. But what if you had to defend it against hundreds of zombies to defend this fortification, this last bastion of humanity against the undead? Man, this place is epic. Well, that's what we're gonna do today. After all, the zombies are coming. But before we get to the rest of it, a huge thank you to World of Warships Legends for sponsoring today's video. Now you guys are gonna love this one. It's a free to play legendary game for both Xbox and PlayStation and it has a brand new anniversary update called New Horizon. Wait until you hear what's new, but if you don't know about World of Warships Legends, it has intense online battles where you can fight against AI ships and player ship. And each ship can be customized where you research and mount upgrades to get your ship even stronger. Now change up your tactics on the fly, command over 200 actual warships that serve throughout history. Now the game looks insane, it's free to play, and you can even collect legendary commanders to fight in 99 or 14 battles. Now here's the best part. In the new update, you get a ton of free stuff like bonuses for wins on ship, the brand new birthday bureau project, and a special platform bundle containing the new awesome premium destroyer, the vampire. There's also a new treasure hunt web event going on. Now on top of that, tier eight ships are introduced with 12 brand new ships of four nations in the tech tree with the 13th ship dropping in the campaign. So start getting as much experience as you can and veteran players may even possibly have enough elite XP on their tier seven ship to have the new ones unlocked right away. So go check it out. So hop in right now for event celebrations and to play for free. Check out the link in the video description below to install the game and make sure to type in my code right now that's on the screen and in the description box to get a tier two premium ship, the Smith. Five days of a premium account, 20 anniversary camo, and five tier two boost. Get that coded now since only the first 3,000 people get the bonuses. So hurry up, let's get back to it. So we've got the infection mutator on. The enemy team only has zombie AI and the balance of power has shifted huh? to the undead. Now what we're gonna need to do is use some custom weaponry, some specialized zombie killing devices here. We gotta tell our men to defend at all points and honestly at all costs. So the enemy outnumbers us and not only that, but whenever one of our soldier dies to the zombies, well, you join the zombie. But the good thing is, is they don't have guns. Ooh, this thing's nice. I mean, it sounds nice. I can't hit the barn side of a barn. The the broad side of the barn, that's what I mean. Now, what is this thing? This thing has a pretty cool little animation. Ooh, I've got five magazines remaining. No, that's not good. I want all the magazines remaining. Yeah, that's the thing about zombies is, well, they're kind of dumb, right? I'm telling you guys, Steel Raven needs to have invasion modes for Ravenfield and what we need, what we desperately need is a better zombie mode, similar to like Call of Duty. So this custom M14 is straight nasty. I'm thinking right now, if we were to just kind of like let this happen, there's no way the zombies get in. Oh wait, they actually may be breaking in on the back side right now. This is just a diversion. Oh God, if they sneak in and like create a hole, we could have some serious, serious problems. Wait a minute, what are we shooting at over there? They're sne- Oh my God, the zombies are sneaking in all sides, but they, I think they've broken into the courtyard. According to the minimap, uh, I wasn't expecting this. So now let's run under what would be the gatehouse in this medieval fortress. Oh, okay. Hey dude with the machine gun, they're behind you. It's amazing. Hordes of zombies are still dangerous. No, don't kill my friend. Oh God, uh, I gotta reload. Buddy, buddy, they're literally behind us. Please do, do something. Oh, are they in front of us too? Oh my God, they bit his leg. Uh oh, I'm kind of watching him because like if they bit his leg and he is gonna turn into zombies, I might as well take him out now. Oh God, you know what I should do? Here we go, that's better than shooting him. Uh oh, I'm gonna give him medicine and ammunition. This is really good, but it doesn't have a lot of put down power. But as far as gun recoil is concerned, it's pretty freaking fantastic. It's like you're playing a game like Escape from Tarkov and you just like modded this thing so the ergo and recoil is so freaking good. All right, so let's see what it's like to try to defend this side. Cause they've definitely been creeping in over here and I'm kind of worried about where they're gonna be coming from. Oh, they, what are you doing over there, little buddy? Uh oh, I don't see them. All right, let's check the map. Um, They're slowly, 
massing up on the very front line there. Wait, can I get up on these walls? Oh, there's a hole in the walls over here. All right, this is a dangerous little spot. This is like, what, the little tavern in the medieval city? We're gonna ramp up the difficulty in a little bit and turn these guys into rage zombies. Oh, this guy's still alive. Yeah, this is a Tarkov gun, if I ever saw one. Oh god, my machine gunner. He's never looking the right way. Alright, so I'm seeing a lot of smoke grenades popping up over here. How are we doing, boys? Are we holding down the fort? Oh god, I'm falling! Oh no, I'm falling. Alright, give me cover and fire, guys. Uh, I'm gonna say that we've survived wave one of the zombie apocalypse. And as most things go, what we're gonna do is up the ante. The number of bots increases and the balance of power skirts even more closer to the zombies. See, look, we've got regular zombies and zombie AI fast. Let's make them just fast. Now, this is gonna be a little bit scary because the zombies have got more numbers and they've gotten more dangerous. Now, if we could set up like a heavy machine gun right here. I'm just, I just sprayed a whole mag. Didn't kill anybody, but definitely hit some. So, I gotta remember that they came in the back door and this is a very, very heavily defended spot right here, so I'm feeling pretty good. Plus, we got a heavy machine gun. Hey, buddy, you see them? Yeah, those guys? Shoot them. Huh? You keep doing that. All right, I'm gonna go cover the backside, because I honestly think it's just me. I could if need be. Oh, no, there's a few guys moving towards it. Three people. They're on the other side of this, like, pile of lumber, which I wish we could use to, like, barricade this. See, in a really, really good zombie defense mode, you could, like, use your resources to hold the line. Okay, where are they gonna be coming from? Because it looks like, oh, there, here we go. Hold on, zombies are starting to pop out in the forest. Oh God, that's actually a lot of them. Oh, oh my God. Okay, whoa. Uh, I'm glad I heard them because I was not expecting that at all. Oh man, this is, this is not good. They are flanking us from the back side of this fort. Um, oh God, oh God, this is bad. I need reinforcements. People? Oh god. Oh my god, this is terrifying. They're coming! The zombies! Okay, uh, get up here. Dude, imagine if they had a good zombie mode and it was multiplayer. Oh my god, I would be freaking out. Uh, I'm out of ammunition for my secondary. Oh, the, the machine gunner just dipped. He's like, no, I know they're behind me. I'm, I'm leaving. Buddy, I came to protect you. All right, I'm pulling back as well. I'm gonna pull back up on top of this wall area. Oh, buddy, now you move back? Now I gotta go protect you. I can't, you can't leave a good man behind, right? Plus I need the ammunition. I gotta keep him alive because he's holding down two choke points. Wait a minute. Did we lose? We haven't lost the outer perimeter. Oh, he's definitely doing good work over here. I wish you could have three guns instead of just two. Oh my god, look at how many there are. You shoot one and like four more pop up in its place. I'm not sure if this is the best gun for the job. I need something that drops them in like one hit that has a ton of ammunition. And honestly, after reading World War Z, I'm kind of inclined to think that like, like a semi-automatic gun is better. Especially if the zombies are the type where you have to shoot them in the head. Because these guys are taking like multiple bullets to the body. There we go. But if I aim at the head, I'm far more efficient. All right, this guy, wait a minute, is that? It just said regular zombie, but he felt like a zombie boss with how strong his survivability was. All right, I got five magazines back in my secondary. All right, I need to recruit some guys to help defend that spot right there. Wait a minute, we've got the upper, what are you doing? Are you stuck? All right, I don't know what I was doing. Oh man, oh no, they're gonna kill the machine gunner. Wait, he's, he walked right by the machine gunner. Please don't eat me. Please don't eat me. Yeah, I'm requesting helicopter evacuation of the fortress. We are overrun. I'm just mag dumping and quickly and precipitously running out of money. They are pouring in through the breach here. I'm gonna go investigate the other areas and make sure that we're doing all right there. We have an anti-aircraft gun here, but we do not need you up there. Yeah, I want you to hold, oh God. Oh, bud, I want you to hold over here. Wait, are they over here too? <gasps> They've taken this flag point? Oh God, that's bad. Because now they're gonna start spawning here. Is this guy alive? All right, our men are converging in. I'm actually surprised that they're able to take this. Cause now all of a sudden all the AI on my team's like, oh yeah, I forgot we had to defend that area. It'd be a shame if zombies were to take it, which is exactly what happened. Whoa, they're in the trenches. This is kind of cool. Now this map is available on the Steam Workshop. 
And the zombie mutators are as well. Yeah, man, I want something with a drum mag, like a 100 round drum mag. That would be the zombie killing device that I would like. All right, I've made my way out here. I'm retreating back. Uh, let's check the front of the base. They're definitely pouring in. But like I said, this base is just so easy to defend. Oh my God. Hold on a second. They just flanked up this side and are closing in behind us? Are we losing this spot? No, there's just so many guys with guns. I, are the zombies actually killing any of us? I can't really tell. I'm thinking no. So we're gonna ramp up the difficulty once again. 300 zombies, balance of power is definitely heavily in the zombies favor. We're gonna make the respawn time up a little bit too, to seven seconds. Battle plan is the same as always, defend for your lives. It says we have the M4A1 custom. I guess I could try the Versex uh, silenced, but that's only close range, uh-oh. It does have a red dot sight and a laser on it though, so that should be easy to acquire the targets. You know what I'm gonna try to do? I'm gonna try to do something that's a little bit crazy. If I can get one of those vehicles and get it back here, that would be pretty awesome. Luckily, the zombie AI precludes them from taking vehicles because, well, they're mindless automatons. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. This is dangerous. Oh my God, I just got hit by friendly bazooka fire. There's zombies rolling next to me. My health is low. I, I'm not having a good time. I'm at 56 health. Die, you evil thanks. Okay, run, 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 run. I gotta get a vehicle. That's the only way I think that we could help our side. Now, it just looks like tanks. Uh-oh. All right, tanks are good, but not great. I wanted a helicopter. I mean, if they're just gonna... Oh! Yikes. All right, I just gotta get in this. Let's get out of here. Oh, they're clawing all over it. <laughs> yes, the zombie crusher is coming, boys. Don't worry. We got a chance now. Yeah, they have no anti-armor. So what I wanna do is I could block the front door with this. All right, let's do a nice little eight point turn here. <laughs> Wait a minute, are they getting in through there too? All right, I need somebody to defend that. Almost empty. Here, you. All right, regroup on me. I have 11 squad mates, I guess, somehow. I want you to enter the mud skipper. All right, I got my ammo and I've got some health here too. Oh God, they're taking that flag. Oh, sneaking up on this. Guys, I there's 11 of you and I told you to enter the mud skipper. What's the issue with AI command? Oh, that guy's fast. Okay, uh, this is bad. This is bad. And you're like, Baron, you've got an armored vehicle right next to you. Why don't you use it? Okay, you're right. You guys have a very good point. Oh my God. Now the blue guys are coming. You gotta be kidding me. Run them over. <gasps> Block the entrance. Oh my God, they're everywhere. This is bad. What's my kill count? 17? That's just not enough. I do have a bunch of guys uh, alive in my armored personnel carrier. We've got to retreat to the next place. We are being overrun everywhere. Okay. There is just way too many of these guys. You got to be able to like modify your weapons to be good zombie killers. Exit the mud skipper and defend this flag point. Defend the courtyard with your lives. Most of you will die, but hopefully I live, right? Isn't that what the commanding officers are supposed to say? I was like, Am I out of ammunition or something? This is terrifying. Without this vehicle, I don't know. I think we'd be screwed. Kind of hurt that guy. It's not good. We need to give him some meds. They're creeping in on all sides. Wait a minute. Did we just hold this? I think we did. We held this pretty well. Oh my God. Yeah, don't just spray and pray with a small submachine gun against hordes of zombies when bullets matter. I've actually never been back to this part before, so I wanna see what's going on back here. Where's the flag? It must be down here. It's in this giant keep somewhere. Whoa, this is kinda of cool. Oh, look at this sniping spot. Look at all our guys defending the courtyard. So this would be like the throne room, I guess? It kinda of reminds me from a castle in Skyrim. All right, I see zombies over on this flank. Even at this level, we've been able to defend. Zombies outnumber us crazy amounts. And normally when we implement zombie modes, buddy, they are behind you. Oh no, uh oh. All right, I killed one of my guys on accident and he turned into a zombie. Oh my God, okay. That's not good. But once again, able to defend against 
the zombie apocalypse. We did lose the outer courtyard though, but we should be able to defend this because like, look at this. Look at how much like covering fire you can get. You can have guys everywhere and have so much like convergence of fire. Like we'll just create kill zones. Oh, and clearly kill zones against ourselves because my guys are idiots and using heavy explosives. Uh, I'm out of ammunition though. So I think it's safe to say that we could definitely defend this fort against the zombie apocalypse. This map is a little bit overpowered because of how easy to defend it really is. Like, look at all those guys out there. And I, I just don't think we have much of an issue here. Natural choke points, heavily defended positions. Oh, what's that guy doing? Does he have a flamethrower? Oh, he just died. No, he's, he's still alive. Oh, he, he died turning into a zombie. Wait a minute, there should be a heavy machine gun right here. This would be a good spot. We do have an anti-aircraft gun. I wonder if we could use that. No, this thing is just to defend against the air, I guess. So if you were to replace that with a heavy machine gun, even easier to defend. All right, I'm just gonna watch. If this group of zombies can't make it in and take this flag, I think it's safe to assume we would win. Brains. All right, boys, this is the big push. You, oh, okay, okay. Thanks, bud, thanks. Well, it does give me an opportunity to change my weapon back to the M4A1 Custom. Did I say M14 earlier? I think I did. Oh my gosh, look at this. There's so many. They are overrunning us a little bit. Uh, they're overrunning us a lot of it. Oh, look at that guy just running in there. I mean, he's destroying a lot of them, but he's definitely gonna die, right? Wow, these guys just go Rambo. Uh-oh, that one did die though. Whoa, stay away from me. Okay. The zombies are getting a little bit too close. Wait a minute, they're actually taking this flag point even though we're all here because they just outnumber us by that much? <gasps> no way. They're gonna start spawning like right in here, Nin. Everybody fall back to the keep! Fall back to the keep! All right, I'm gonna give new battle plans. Just worry about defending. Defend the last point. Thanks, bud. Yeah, give me meds. Luckily, they can't sneak up behind us here. I don't believe, anyway. I don't know whose bright idea it was, because the zombies don't have smoke grenades, so one of our guys did it to throw smoke grenades, but that is pretty dang stupid. Yeah, look at this. Our guys just, like, instead of defending in well-entrenched positions, they're like, let's go mix it up in close quarters combat with zombies. And you can just see how many people are converting into zombies. Yeah, honestly, at this point, it seems like the zombie invasion is inevitable. All right, they are getting really, really close. I'm gonna grab some ammo here and back up. Uh, yeah, let's throw smoke grenades, guys. Very, very smart. Very smart. I need to ban smoke grenades from my men, because this is... Bring me to my men! This is so dumb. This is so dumb! All right, they're making it up to this platform now. This is not looking good. As soon as they rush up these staircases, what? They're inside the keep already? How? They're coming up the stairwell? Yeah, there's blood splatters everywhere. Oh, wait a minute, we never went up. This is must be where the flag is. No, this is just some, wait, there's more stairs. Actually, I mean, they'd eventually get us here, but they would push all the way up, I think. Look at that. The outer defenses have been completely overrun. This is really scary. This is really terrifying. Whoa, 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 somebody just pushed me off the wall? You are fired, bud. Wait, which one did it? Was it you? Was it you? You seem like you're running away. Oh God, die! Everybody is panicking. My own soldiers are pushing me off the walls. Don't you do it, man. I'm watching all of you now. Now, as far as the kills, my goodness, we have guys on our team that have done 70 kills. Two people have bro broke 70, one broke 60, and two have just broken 50, with a few closely behind. The enemy team, one zombie has killed six of us. That's pretty impressive. I don't know, I, I think we might be able to hold this position longer, but this just wants me to commission like a really, really good zombie apocalypse map. Look at them sneaking up that back way and creeping up right in here. You can run through this entire castle. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. They're coming, guys. Yeah, take them out, take them out. Take that one out too. Do your job. <laughs> this guy, you just shot at the ground. I saw that, man. I can't tell if everyone's retreating or not. They're running around all scatterbrained. Yeah, our defensive positioning, like, look at this. Guys are just popping out in the trenches. I think the zombies would eventually win, but it, I think at this point it would take hours. And that is something that we just do not have. So if you guys do want to see more Ravenfield, 
and in particular you have a certain idea for a map or a mod that you'd love to see i want to see it in the comments because there's just so much we can do in ravenfield it is like an amazing sandbox of a game and think about it first came battlefield then ravenfield now all we need is barren field <laughs> anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you next time because i have guys on my team with knives out that's not the best so buddy come on <laughs>